Hi everyone, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com, PaintballProps.com, and EngineeringShock.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, our newest escape room prop, the ELE, Extinction Level Event Escape Room Prop. Uh, it's In many respects it's very similar to our DEF CON 1 prop and our uh, AIDS Homeland Defense, uh, Artificial Defense System prop. Uh, all can be found at Escape Room Props. Uh, escape room electronics. Com. Uh, let me just show you what comes with this set. Uh, here's the main board, which is connected to uh, a relay board, which you can use to switch on an electromagnetic lock or a lamp or whatever you'd like when the game is done, uh, or power it off if you like. This is the main control button. It's red. It comes with a nine volt one amp adapter. This is the timer board. It's a four digit timer board uh, in blue. Uh, again, the main board it comes with a stereo connector, so you can connect to your stereo system because the unit talks to you. And uh, four key modules. The key modules all have a nut, so you can mount them to whatever fixture you're planning to use. And they are removable from the main cables. The main cables extend to about a meter and a half, so you can mount these in different spots around the room. And uh, it comes fully assembled and tested. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration before... Um, and I'll give you a few different quick demonstrations because it's very, very, very simple to use. You can choose between 30-minute games, 45-minute games, and 60-minute games. The default is 60 minute, 60 minutes, so I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to connect my stereo, uh, stereo cable to my computer speakers. Uh, you don't have to use your computer speakers. You can use your Bose player or boombox or whatever. Uh, power plugs in right here. And as soon as you have everything mounted as you like it, you're ready to go. So let's give a quick demonstration. So as soon as I plug in power, the red button comes on, power to the relay board current, uh, comes on, the relay isn't engaged. Um, so as soon as I press the uh, red button, the game setup starts. If I want, at this point, if I want 45 minute games or 30 minute games, I have to use a certain sequence. Uh, of the keys. I'll show you that at the end of this video. By default it goes to 60 minute game, so I'm going to press uh, the red button. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. All keys are turned left already? Press the red button to start the game. If, uh, if uh, keys are not all turned left, then it will keep saying... Uh, press the red button to start the game. Turn all keys left. So the game's set up. It's 60 minutes, so I have to press the spread button to start the game. Press the red button to start the game. So it keeps repeating that because once you have the game set up, you just send people into the room and Press the red button to start the game. They know to press the red button, which is mountable, so I'll press the red button. Report. 14 days ago, the NASA Space Center advised all high-ranking government officials of the potential of an extinction-level event. An asteroid roughly the size of Wyoming is forecast to hit Earth in less than five hours. Top scientists from China and Russia have teamed up with the United States to launch our nuclear strike against the asteroid. Find all three code keys, insert them into the three key slots, and turn all three keys to the right simultaneously in order to launch the nuclear countermeasures. You have 60 minutes until the asteroid reaches minimum safe distance. After such time, launching said countermeasures will be redundant. Good luck and Godspeed. Okay, so 60 minutes. So each key. Each keys module comes with two keys, so you only need to hide three keys. As the escape room owner, as the game master, you create the puzzles that allow for the the players to find the three different keys, and you'll have three three. It comes with six keys, so you'll have three extra keys. Um, now, all of the keys are the exact same. So, but what you need to do is you need to insert them all. At the, you need to insert them and turn them all right within a 200 millisecond. Uh, time frame, so one fifth of a second. So you can't just turn one, remove it, turn another, remove it. You have to have all three inserted, and that's also why there are long extensions, so you can place them in different areas if you'd like. So th you need at least three people to, uh, or at least you need two people. One and one person will need to turn two keys at once. So if I turn one key, or if I turn not too not fast enough. Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. And it will keep saying that until I turn all keys to the original position. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. So now it goes back into the main code. If time runs out while you're in that uh, area of software, uh, the game works exactly as it should. The ending sequence 
uh, occurs. Now if I turn all three keys at the same time, the game is over. So I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. I'm not using the greatest speakers. I hope that the audio quality has been okay. I'm going to try to do this. It might take me two tries because I am trying to do this using uh, I am trying to do this using one hand or two hands. So wish me luck. Nuts. Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. If I'm not successful this time, I'm going to uh, stop the video and I'm going to edit it so that you can see me turning all three keys at the same time. Let's give it another shot. Shoot. Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. The nuclear strike has been launched. Once the warhead reaches the target, all that will be left of the asteroid will burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere. Congratulations. You have saved mankind. You are heroes. You are saviors. You are super awesome. You win. Thank you for playing. So, fun ending. That's how you beat the game. And as you'll notice, as soon as I, I turned all three keys, uh, the relay turned on. There's an extra uh, LED indicator on the relay saying the relay is turned on. So if you don't know what a relay is, it's an isolated switch, like an on-off switch. There's a common pin, a normally closed, uh, a normally closed pin, and a normally open pin. When the relay is off, the common pin is connected internally to the normally closed pin. When the relay turns on, the common pin disconnects from the normally cl uh, closed pin and connects to the normally open pin. So you can use this relay to power 120 volt AC devices like lamps or fans, or you can use it to control uh, an electromagnetic lock. And I'm all also happy to sell an electromagnetic lock and a power supply if you'd like to add that to your game. Just contact us through escaperoomelectronics.com. Uh, so let's go through a demonstration where you, the players run out of time. Just to show you how to reset the game after uh, from where we left off, what I need to do is I need to uh, turn all keys to the left, back to the original position, the relay turns off, and now the game is reset. So if I want to uh, if I want to change to a, a different time, uh, again I can uh, go through this. I can go through this at the end choosing 30 minutes and 45 minutes. I'm just going to go with the default 60 minutes again. I'm going to let you go listen to the intro one more time with a little bit higher volume so you can probably hear a little bit better. So I'm going to start the game for 60 minutes. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to turn that key to the right just to show you that the game will not start uh, until I turn all keys to the left. Press the red button to start the game. Now, I believe... That by doing that, press I press the red button to start the game. I set the game to 45 minutes. I need to double check that. Report. 14 days ago, the NASA Space Center advised all high ranking government officials of the potential of an extinction level event. An asteroid roughly the size of Wyoming is forecast to hit Earth in less than five hours. Top scientists from China and Russia have teamed up with the United States to launch our nuclear strike against the asteroid. Find all three code keys, insert them into the three key slots, and turn all three keys to the right simultaneously in order to launch the nuclear countermeasures. You have 60 minutes until the asteroid reaches minimum safe distance. After such time, launching said countermeasures will be redundant. Good luck and Godspeed. So I didn't. It still said 60 minutes. There's a certain combination of, of the, turning the keys when you start the game, the, the game up that allows for you to choose 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Again, right at the end of the video, I'll show you how to do that. You can skip ahead if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but 60 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, turn the game off. I'm going to set it for 30 minutes just to skip ahead. And then I'm gonna, we're going to watch the time run out. I'm going to skip ahead to uh, one minute left of, uh, of time. And at, 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 uh, when there's one minute left, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on, and we'll see what happens when the timer runs out. Notice that the uh, the camera is is making the uh, display look a little bit fuzzy. It looks great to the human eye. That's just my camera. So when time runs out, there will be uh, an audio an audio bite for you to listen to, and then it's just a matter of resetting the system by making sure all keys are in the leftmost position. Uh, so let's hear it. The asteroid has reached minimum safe distance. When the asteroid hits Earth, mass destruction dealt from the initial blast.
coupled with massive tidal waves and dust clouds will cripple civilization. All of humanity, along with all animals and plant life will cease to exist. You lose. Thank you for playing. So, pretty morbid ending. Kind of funny. More for mature audiences, although younger people will probably, you know, understand that it's just a game. Uh, but then, so all keys are in the left position. I didn't turn any of them, so in order to reset, I just press, uh, I press this button. But if I want to, uh, if I want to change from 60 minutes to 45 minutes, now I'm going to show you how to do that. At the end of the game, you can you can follow these instru instructions too to restart the game with a, a 30 minute game or a 45 minute game, or you can do it during power up. So what I'm going to do is there are three headers here, and these buttons are actually these wires are soldered to the bottom of the board. Uh, the leftmost, the, the second from the left, and the third from the left, or rather in the middle. Uh, so right now we've got blue green and brown. The green is in the middle and if we turn that right on power up it'll give us a 45 minute game. So I'll turn it right, I'll press the red button turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. I'll turn it left press the red button to start the game. And I'll skip ahead here. Report. 14 days ago the in order to launch the nuclear countermeasures you have 45 minutes until the asteroid reaches minimum safe distance. After such time, launching said countermeasures will be redundant. Good luck and Godspeed. And there's your 45 minute game. So, just for the sake of speeding things up, I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to restart it, I'm going to power back up, and we're going to do a 30 minute game. For a 30 minute game, what I'm going to want to do is power up, and I'm going to want to take the turn the leftmost and the second from the left uh, uh, keys to the left uh, at the same time and that is blue and green. Green. Sorry, I'm going to want to turn them right. And this is blue. And I'm going to want to power up. Uh, turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. Return them left. Press the red button to start the game. And again, I'll skip ahead. Report. To launch the nuclear countermeasures. You have 30 minutes until the asteroid reaches minimum safe distance after such time launching said countermeasures will be redundant good luck and godspeed and there you have it 30 minutes so very very easy to, to uh, use everything has everything is mountable there are four mounting holes on the timer board four mounting holes on the uh, main board um, there is a mounting nut here on the red button and you can remove the red button by just simply uh, pulling the uh, the connector off, making sure that when you place it back on, you you are uh, making sure the orientation is the same. Um, the relay has uh, it comes glued. The connector is glued to the main board and is glued glued to the relay. You don't have to use the relay, but it's a nice extra to have. It has four mounting holes. And uh, again, I'm going to remove power just to show you. When you mount your buttons, all you need to do is remove the key connector. Hopefully you can still see this. I'm sorry if I'm off camera. Remove the nut. Make your drill, uh, your drill hole. Place the uh, key module through the drill hole. Mount it to your fixture using that nut, and then plug it back in to the two-pin header. Everything is uh, hot glued to ensure that the wires do not break, even on the bottom of the board. And if you haven't already, check out our DEFCON One prop. Uh, and all of our themed props at uh, escaperoomelectronics.com. Um, we do custom work at escaperoomelectronics.com, so please feel free to send us a message. We have tons of props. We're trying to um, put more props up every single week. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, send us a message through either engineeringshot.com, paintballprops.com, or escaperoomelectronics.com. Thank you for watching.